It's not my day today. <laughs> As we say in Norway, Martina here and today we're gonna continue on the laser gun project. Previously we made a frame out of plywood, we attached a super super nice acrylic tube to it and we made a simplified setup of the electronics. Now what we're gonna do today is to make the complete setup of electronics and also fix the issue of the light spreading. But what we're gonna begin with is to fix the batteries. We have a problem with the batteries on the laser gun because they're gonna fit on top of the laser gun, but they can't just sit there. We gotta have something to put them in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make a 3D model that's gonna make it easy to insert and take out the batteries. And for the day, I have my cousin here, Mathia. She's gonna be my personal assistant for the day. So let's go. Let's see if this thing fits on the model. No! There's a crack in my beautiful acrylic tube. No, frick. It's not that big of a problem. I'm just gonna glue it so it doesn't crack more. I was kind of planning to cover up that part either way, so I'm not too mad about it. It was just, I don't understand. Anyway, let's see if this 3D print for the battery socket actually fits on the model. It's gonna sit on top here. Yeah, okay. It seems to be a little too tight. Like, I think I could probably get it on if I used a hammer to hammer it on, but then I'm kind of scared to break it. Okay, let's see if I can fit the uh, battery holder itself because this piece is going inside here I left leeway here too but it seems to not have been enough I think I just have to do some minor adjustments to it to make it actually fit on the gun and make this uh, battery holder fit inside it That's gonna take a while. So I think I'm just gonna go down to the basement and try to figure out what we gotta do with this focal lens to get it to fit into the LED socket. We finally got a focal lens. <gasps> oh my, it's beautiful. So I have one question about the focal lens and that is whether or not I need a certain distance between the focal lens and the LED, or whether I can just put it directly onto the LED. So I'm just gonna... Oh. I'm just gonna break it. <laughs> it's not my day today. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing I always buy two of everything. And this is why, because I'm a clumsy mess. Let me clean this up, hold on. Oh, man. I've turned off all the lights, now let's test out this focal lens. This is without anything, a little bit of a distance, and all up close. I guess a little bit of a distance, focus it a bit more. Well, my plan now is to fit this focal lens into the 3D model. I'm thinking just to leave maybe a gap of two millimeters or something between the LED and the focal lens. So let's just get into super fast sex mode. As you can see, I've made a hole basically for the one focal lens that I didn't destroy. And now that will be placed with a little bit of a distance to the LED itself. On this first model, the walls were a bit too tall and nothing really fit. <laughs> Everything was a bit too tight. On the second one, I made the walls a lot shorter, but the problem on the second one was that this battery connector only fit in one direction and not both. But third time's a charm and this one fit perfectly so I printed 
two of these that I'm just gonna probably glue together like this on the gun. Oh, and by the way, if you wanna have a look at any of the materials or 3D models or something that I use on this laser gun, I will leave just basically a ton of links down in the description if you wanna have a look. So I think what we should do next is to solder a couple of wires to this battery connector so we can fit that into the socket. Yeah, I know, I'm actually supposed to wear glasses, but my eyesight isn't that bad, so I tend to just ignore it. I basically got all the large components laid out where they're supposed to be, I just haven't wired them up yet. I've got the battery sockets up here, they're connected together. I've got the buck converter and boost converter on either side down here. We got the fans and the LED socket with the connection we made the last time. And finally we got this nice little box for the Arduino. What's cool about this box is it's got two slits on the side so I can easily just run cables through here. And also at this end there's a hole so I can easily access the Arduino and just plug a cable in if I have to do some changes later. I want to try to incorporate this lid into the design of the gun so it's kind of visible from the outside. What I have to do next is to wire up all the components and I'm gonna try my best not to make a hot mess of all the cables that are gonna go in here because there's gonna be a lot. So let's hope I can do that. <laughs> I've placed all the parts and almost wired up everything. I got some small things left. But the one thing I really need help with is to program the Arduino. So I think I have to ask. Oh! Did I hear programming? Oh, fuck. Well, what kind of programming will we be doing today? I don't know. I just need this to work, basically. Well, then, let's get it to work. How's it going? Is it working? The relay seem to be working, but we still need to get the addressable LEDs working. Right. And then we're good to go. Hans is gonna continue to work on the code and in the meantime I will try to solder all the electronics together and make it work. So let's go! So I tried to use this type of elastic, but it has a bit too much pull in it, so the trigger didn't really snap back into place. I switched it out with a rubber elastic, and now it just has a really nice snapback. The only thing I'm worried about is that this rubber elastic will break over time, but I think when I started to cover this thing up, I will just make sure that this part is accessible in a not too inconvenient way, so I can switch it out. But I really love the way it feels so far. We are interrupting this program due to a very important announcement, and that is that the Mecha Bonnie merch will only be available for one more week. I repeat, the Mecha Bunny merch will only be available for one more week. So get yours today by clicking the link on the screen or in the description. Thank you for your attention. Now stay safe in your homes. <laughs> Sorry.
So the Arduino code is ready and I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of how everything works. So this Arduino, it runs in a default state. The default state is just cycling through the addressable LEDs, giving them a color. Once you trigger the Arduino, it will create an interrupt on the Arduino. And that's just a weird way of saying that the CPU has to stop doing what it's doing and then do whatever you want it to do first. Hey, quiet. <laughs> that's a good analogy for an interrupt. So this interrupt, it turns off the addressable LEDs, puts it out of that cycle, and instead it will trigger the relays so that the 100 watt LED will start blasting out its light everywhere and the fans will start moving so that you can cool down the LED on the heatsink block. And once you release the momentary switch button, it causes yet another interrupt, which does the exact opposite, turns off the 100 watt LED, turns off the relays, so that the fan stops spinning and then turns the addressable LED cycle back on. That's basically it. It's quite simple. Of course, as always, I will leave the code on GitHub. Don't expect that many of you to be interested, but it's always there in case you want to replicate this masterpiece or just learn something new. That was basically my part on this project. So um, I'm out. Bye bye. So I wired everything up and Hansi helped me create the code for the Arduino. Yeah, we did have a couple of issues along the way with like minor things not working as they're supposed to work, but finally it works! And I'm so excited and I really want to, I really want to show you. <laughs> I got my batteries here. They're connected together. We also have a kill switch up here just so we can turn off the whole system without having to take out the batteries. So when we flick this on, that turns on the system. Now, when it's in kind of the passive mode, it will light up these LEDs around the gun. We haven't really decided on the exact animations and colors just yet. I think that will kind of be for later when we've started covering this thing up. Oh man! <laughs> ah. oh, holy crap, Rooney. Oh my god, I can't wait to cover this thing up! It's gonna look so good! And also, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really happy that the electronics are over. <laughs> I find it really hard. By the way, I just wanted to tell you that since the previous video, we've got 20 new patrons and 3 new YouTube members, which leaves us at 135 patrons and 6 YouTube members. And I just want to thank you, because you make it possible for us to do, well, this kind of crazy stuff. Oh, and we also got something special planned for our YouTube members and our Patreon supporters, but we're still kind of in the idea phase, so I don't want to reveal too much but something's coming your way for sure. And if you guys want to see what we're up to like in between videos, you can check us out on either Twitter or Instagram or both or neither. Oh, and if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, I'm just telling you that Astrid, she will stop purring if you don't subscribe. You know what to do. Bye.